good morning my dears how are you are you ready for today's class okay take your max text and notebook take your text page number 48 listen the problem savings i knew deposited 1400 rupees in june and 1650 rupees in july her friend sanu deposited 175 rupees more than anu in june and 75 rupees less in july find the total deposits of anu and sanu who deposited more what is the question here yes we want to find the deposits of anu and sanu of the months june and july they already given the deposit of anu in june and july we want to find the deposits of sanu based on anu's deposits anu's deposit amount thannittund adine base cheyidukond sanu's deposit nammal kandathanam listen here i will arrange the given details in a table here we write anu's deposits and here we write sanu's deposits how much is the deposit of anu in the month june yes that is 1400 how much in july anu's deposit yes 1650 rupees okay what about sanu's deposit yes how much is the sanu's deposit in the month june they did not give but they gave a clue what is that clue yes sanu deposited 175 rupees more than anu in june anu june il deposit cheyda amount inekkal 175 rupees more then what is the amount here and how can we find yes by adding 175 to 1400 1400 plus 175 we give the deposit of sanu in the month june how can we find yes how can we add this yes 1400 plus 175 write like this and add 0 plus 5 0 0 plus 7 7 4 plus 1 5 then 1 what is the answer 1575 write here 1575 rupees how much is the deposit of sanu in the month july what is the clue given yes 75 rupees less than anu's deposit what is anu's deposit 1650 sanu's deposit is 75 less that means how can we find yes 1650 minus 75 do you know how to subtract 75 from 1650 you can do in mind also how yes we want to subtract 75 from okay first subtract 50 and then 25 or we can subtract like this 1650 minus 75 first we want to subtract 5 from 0 that is not possible why yes we cannot subtract a big number from a small number oru vali number ne oru cheri number il ninnu namukku subtract cheyan sadikkilla here zero is less than 5 so we cannot subtract so we borrow one from here this is the place of tens so we borrow one that means we borrow 10 that is for here 5 becomes 4 10 minus 
फाइव देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी वॉन्ट टू सब्सट्रैक्ट सेवन फ्रॉम फोर दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल वाई सेवन इज ए बिगर नंबर दैन फोर ओके सो वी बोरो वन फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज फोर बिकम्स फोर्टीन वट इज द आंसर फोर्टीन माइनस सेवन सेवन we give 1 to 4 so this become 5 so here only 5 and 1 what is the answer here 1575 so the deposit of sanu in the month july is 1575 Next, we want to find the total deposit of Anu and Sanu. How can we find? Yes, total deposit of Anu is find by adding these two numbers. How? Yes, one thousand four hundred plus one thousand six hundred and fifty. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus five, five. Four plus six, ten. Here we write zero only and one as Reminder: One plus one, two. Two plus one, three. What is the answer? Three thousand fifty is the total deposit of Anu. Then we want to find the total deposit of Sanu. How can we find? Yes, add one thousand five hundred and seventy-five plus one thousand five hundred and seventy-five. Five plus five, ten. Here we write zero and one nas. Remind seven plus seven, fourteen. Fourteen plus one, fifty. Five here and one nas. Remind five plus five, ten. Ten plus one, eleven. One here and one nas. Remind one plus one, two. Two plus one, three. What is the total deposit of Sanu? Three thousand one hundred and fifty rupees. Total deposit of Anu is three thousand fifty, and the total deposit of Sanu is three thousand one hundred and fifty rupees. Can you say who deposited more? Yes, that is Sanu. Sanu's deposit is more than Anu's deposit. Okay, go to the next activity. Sale. They give. We can see a table here. Day and sale. This is one week sale at school store. स्कूल स्टोर वन वीक सेल मंडे हाउ मच यू तौस फोर्टी रुपी ट्यूसडे एट हंड्रड्ड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव रुपी वेनसडे टू तौस ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपी तेस्डे वन तौस एट हंड्रड्ड एंड नयटी रुपी फ्राइडे टू तौस फोर हंड्रड्ड रुपी ओब्सर्व दी टेब फाइंड द आंसर्स ऑफ दी फाइव क्वस्टिस् This is very easy for you. First question is, how much did they get in the first two days of the week? That means total amount get from Monday and Tuesday. Read all this question and find the answer from that table. This is an exercise for you. Okay, let us go to the next activity. Lunch. The school buys vegetables for making children's lunch. Two thousand seven hundred and twenty-five rupees was spent in June for this, and six hundred and seventy-five rupees more in August. The amount spent in July is one hundred and seventy-five less than the amount in August. The amount in September is two hundred and seventy-five more than the amount in June. First question is. How much was spent in each of these four months? Second one, in which month was it most and the least? Third one, how much was spent in all four months together? My dears, can you understand this question? Here, the question is, we want to find the amount spent for buying vegetables in the month June, July, August, and September. जून जूल ऑगस्ट एंड सप्टंबर वेजिटब स्पेद एम फैंड ओके हियर द डैरक्टी गीव द एम स्पेन्ट इन जून वाट दट एम 
yes 2725 rupees spent in june here they directly give the amount spent in june that is 2725 rupees next they give the amount spent in august is they directly give that amount no they give a clue we will find the amount spent in august what is that clue yes uh, 7 675 rupees more in august than june okay the amount in august is 675 rupees more how can we find yes 2725 plus 675 rupees add these two amounts write like this and add 5 plus 5 10 zero here and one as remainder 2 plus 7 9 9 plus 1 10 zero here and one as remainder 7 plus 6 13 13 plus 1 14 four here and one as remainder 2 plus 1 3 what is the answer 3400 that means the amount spent in august is 3400 what is given in the question next the amount spent in july is 175 less than the amount in august the amount in july is 175 less than the amount in august how can we find yes july le amount august le amount ne kai 175 less that means 3400 minus 175 how can we find we can do this in mind also how yes first you subtract 100 and then 75 3400 minus 100 3300 minus 75 is 3225 or do manually like this 3400 minus 175 zero minus 5 not possible so we borrow one so here also zero we cannot borrow anything from here so we borrow from here here 4 then give 1 2 here then it becomes 3 then give 1 2 here this become 10 and this become 9 then 10 minus 5 5 here 9 minus 7 2 3 minus 1 2 and here 3225 the amount spent in july is 3225 what about september yes the amount spent in september is 275 more than the amount in june june le kai 2000 Uh, 275 more that means 2725 plus 275 how can we add this yes 2225 plus 275 plus 5 then zero here and one as remainder 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 1 10 Zero here and one as remainder. Seven plus two, nine. Nine plus one, ten. Zero here and one as remainder. Two plus one, three. What is the answer? Yes, three thousand. Now we find the amount spent in June, July, August, and September. Okay. We find the answer for first question. What is the second question? In which month was it most and the least? we want to find in which month the most amount spent in which month can you say which is the most amount here yes in the month august what is that amount 
is 3400 which is the least amount here in which month yes that is 2725 in the month june okay what is the last question how much was spent in all four months together we want to find the amount spent all together for the four months how can we find yes we can find that by adding these four amounts okay right like this and add this 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 0 10 plus 0 10 here we write 0 here and 1 as reminder 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 0 4 plus 0 4 4 plus 1 5 then 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 4 13 here we write 3 here and 1 as reminder 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 1 12 here we get a 5 digit number how can we read this okay teach I will read you 12,350. What is the amount? 12,350. Take your text page number 50. Look at the question. Complete the pattern. Here you can see 7 patterns. Look here. Is there any peculiarities for these patterns? Yes. In all these patterns, the first number is same. Which is that number? Is 1221. That means all these patterns are start with the number 1221. First four numbers in each pattern is given. You should find the next three numbers. You should try to complete these seven patterns. Well, let us go to the next problem. Write four different number patterns starting with the 4325 the next activity for you is write four different number patterns you should write four different number patterns but one condition all that four patterns are starting with the number 4325 look here this is a number pattern starting with 4325 25. Right like this. Okay dears. Now we wind up today's class. See you in the next class.